Hello, folks. You are all very welcome to another playthrough of the Sega Mega Drive Classic. This city was once a happy, peaceful place, until one day a powerful secret criminal organization took over. This vicious syndicate soon had control of the government and even the police force. The city has become a center of violence and crime where no one is safe. Amid this turmoil, a group of determined young police officers has sworn to clean up the city. Among them are Adam Hunter, Axel Stone, and Blaze Fielding. They are willing to risk anything, even their lives, on the streets of rage. Ah, oh, I love this game. <laughs> History X Cop? They're ex-cops? I did not realize this. Boxing, martial arts, judo. I love how he's just... Video games. Oh, I love this. This music is so good. There's a great remix of it on YouTube. Uh, you can check it out. It's um, got uh, Lose Yourself by Eminem underneath it. It's so good. There we go, straight into it now. It's just such a dramatic introduction. 1991. I had this game on a compilation, a six in one compilation. Hmm, let's see. We'll go for Adam, Axel, or Blaze. Um, it's funny, I went through a long phase of. When I first played this game as a kid, I played it as Adam because. He has great jump, uh, jump power. And then I went about playing as Blaze because she has great jump power. But then eventually I settled on Axel because I realized I don't like to jump as much as I used to. Maybe it's my old age. I just, I, I love the power of Axel and his speed. So there we go. Um, but yeah. So it turned out that, uh, and I only discovered this in more recent years because I because I I've downloaded this game on iOS, um, that I had always just played it on easy mode when I was a kid, because this game is so much harder than I remember. <laughs> the bad guys just beat the living crap out of me. <laughs> like I'm having to punch in advance just to, you know, to make sure that they don't get that seat. Yeah. Ugh. They just get these really quick cheap shots in and just drain your health. See, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. There we go. There we go. Take that. Uh, there we go. A bit better. A bit better. <laughs> and it's funny, I, I don't like weapons as much as I used to. I mean, uh, I'll give it a go. But. I find they're very slow in comparison to the punches. Like, I know this has slightly better reach, but I just find it really slow. And to, maybe it's when I'm playing it on the iPhone, maybe the controls are just that little bit trickier to be precise on. But see, see? Just all these cheap shots. Ah! Oh. <laughs> I'll get there. I'll get there. Come on. There we go. I got a baseball bat now. When I was a kid, I always preferred the baseball bat to the lead pipe. I, f I felt it was a bit faster. I have no idea whether it actually is. You <laughs> stay away from me. There we go. Ow. Come on. There we go. Like, there's great variety in, like, it's a very simple gameplay, but there's loads of just little things with the very simple um, controls that you can do. You know, keep in mind that you had three buttons and... Like, there's not even a dash button in this game yet. We'll get there. With these ladies. Like, this game is just so hilariously late 80s, early 90s. Just look at it. 
Like, what are they wearing? I mean, the denim, I can understand. But what the... <laughs> like, this weird... S&M leather bodysuit with a whip and a... and a... General's cap? I don't know. <laughs> okay, here we go. Boss number one. Schmack, 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 schmack. There we go. Oh, fine. I'll call the cops. There we go. The real cops. They show up. Like, you'd imagine they could just go in and do this throughout the whole level, but apparently not. Oh, I love the music. Okay. Round one was relatively painless. Relatively. Here we go. Round two, start. I love the music of this game. I, I find it funny how um, um, there's a lot of sound effects that are shared between this game and Revenge of Shinobi. Um, oh yeah, that's, that's what I was saying at the very start of this playthrough. I had this game on a playthrough of... Um, it was a er, ah, playthrough. Uh, it was a compilation uh, cartridge, uh, which was the six and one. It had Sonic the Hedgehog, Streets of Rage, Revenge of Shinobi, Monaco Grand Prix, Sega Soccer, and Columns. And the least, the game I played least on that compilation was probably Monaco Grand Prix. I wasn't a massive soccer fan as a kid, or simply football as we call here in Ireland, um, but um, yeah. Oh yeah, free life. Oh yeah, if you get enough points you can get free lives. Ow. And if you're not paying attention you get free punches to the face. Okay. It's funny, those um, posters on the wall, I've no idea, I don't know, is it like a bikini lady or something, but for whatever reason, Ah, is that a poster for the boss of round three? Because that would be kind of cool if it was. What does it even say? Monarch? Montauk? I don't know. Um, I always used to think it, it was the poster for Ace Ventura when nature calls. Because <laughs> I was a kid and that made perfect sense. Um... What, you can you just just go and look up the poster for Ace Ventura when nature calls. It loosely looks like it, very loosely, but uh, that's that's what I thought. I was always waiting for somebody to come out of this door. You know, I, I think maybe maybe that was intended at one point, and then they were like, eh, we already did it in Golden Axe. That's another game I need to play through. That was great. As a pre predecessor to this, although I I played this game first, um, but uh, oh god, these guys are so frustrating. Like, I, I still I, I still cannot make any sense of when to hit them, when not to hit them, how to hit them. I, I, you just try, and occasionally it'll punch, 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 and I'll get slapped in the face with a torch. And it's very frustrating. They look kind of crazy though. There we go. Take that. <laughs> Ow! Seriously. Yeah, like this this is the difference I think between easy mode and normal. Is that guys just come straight in and take complete cheap shots at your face. And occasionally I give them cheap shots by just ow. And then this guy, like, what are they, axes? That he's, like, who juggles axes? I'm sure there's someone out there now who's going to be like, I juggle axes. But, uh, yeah, there we go. Yep, they are axes. There we go. Take that, whip lady. Ow. Okay, so this... I'm gonna need as many lives as I can get, so the the longer that I can stay on this one continue, the better. 
because obviously once you get game over and use a continue your score goes back to zero um, and I think this game is quite good at giving you early lives uh, this guy was always you see these bosses these bosses would be a lot easier I'm using this now because two more cheap shots and I'm gonna die so I don't want to waste it um, but uh, these bosses would be so much easier if it weren't for these friggin' henchmen coming in and take. Oh, this guy's got a friggin' knife. If they just walk into you. So, the rule with this guy is do not jump. Um, yeah, you approach them from the top and uh, they'll. Um, and you can beat the crap out of them. Um, but uh, as a kid, if. Uh, because I swore by jump kicks in this game when I was a kid. Um, yeah, that was that's not advised for that boss because he like does this really weird kind of like shadow dancer teleportation y thing where he just like tears you to shreds. So don't jump kick him. Ow! It's funny, when I was a kid, this level's music was my favorite, and ironically, now it's possibly my least favorite, and maybe it's because. I overplayed it when I was a kid. So I used to record music. I think I said this on the Rocket Knight Adventures video. Um, but when I was a kid, I would uh, record the music. There we go. If you press up and C uh, whenever they throw you, you can land on your feet, which is very convenient. Unless they throw you the other way where you land on your head. So that you can't, right? Like that. If they do, although I think it's pretty, it's only the bosses of round five that do that. The Blaze Twins, or triplets, I suppose. Right. Yeah, because yeah, like I, I always remember as a kid, I, I was always, for the most part, ever to, able to not lose a life until the boss. Oh, press forward and B throw them whenever they grab you, which is fun. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm gonna use that. <laughs> what I was saying was, I would always used to be able to, um, to save those until the final boss, or the ending bad guy, as I used to call him. Um, but uh, not anymore. i like, what is that guy wearing? This weird kind of power suit thing? Ugh. It's, this is a strange world. This is this is the bizarre world of early 90s where the weirdest things looked really cool. Oh, I needed that. That's very convenient. And he's going to kick me from behind. There we go. Like this, this is where jump kicks come in handy. And this is where Adam is actually very useful because he actually puts his foot out as opposed to just has a, does a flying knee. And it's really useful. There we go. There we go. I handled that pretty well. Watch this. Ah, no, I was waiting, waiting. Someone's gonna come in with a friggin' cheap shot. There we go. Here, yeah, there we go. Oh, God, these guys are so annoying. Yeah. And you see, that's another reason why I tend to not go for weapons anymore because you can't quickly change direction of where you're punching, whereas at least when you're. Ooh, it's raining. At least. Ah, yeah. There we go. Yeah, I, I love the different options that you have of like, you know, if you've got enemies coming from behind and you're punching a guy, you can grab them and throw them back at that person. Ow, oh my god. These cheap shots are so annoying. Like, I'm, I'm having to preempt as much as I can. There we go. Oh, sweet. Killed them both. That's convenient. Oh, oh, oh no. Okay. So this boss is easy as long as you know which direction he's come from. He's totally going to kill me though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. there we go. When you know where he is, all you have to do is do this and just stop him from coming onto the screen. Or you have to time it right, of course. And if he does that, you can throw him. He's like, okay, yeah, because I'm going to call cops again because. He was, uh, he was gonna run into me. Oh, this is pure, like, which wrestler is this, does this guy look like? It's, there is a, a WWF 
classic 80s wrestler and I can't remember the name of him but you all know what I'm talking about he had, he had face paint and big things falling from his arm I'm describing him so well <sighs> there we go round four I've lost one life so far here we go do, 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 do. a friend of mine um, when we were kids he was like ah oh, there's a great cheat uh, I was like all right yeah what is it um, he's like for, for like double lives okay I'm gonna pause this because this is insane <sighs> what am I gonna do what am I doing where am I going okay yeah there we go <laughs> um, <laughs> there we go sorry I just had to catch my breath there um, so uh, oh sweet that gave me a life that was at least convenient um, but yeah he was like uh, if, if you want to get double lives and double health and uh, all you have to do is start a two player game and kill off the second player um, at the very beginning and don't use their continues and then all of a sudden there's enough health and lives for two people and yeah okay there we go um, and yeah that's fair enough that's 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 fine but the problem is okay I'm gonna, I'm gonna die who's gonna get me who's gonna land that cheap blow but the problem is is you have to fight double bosses. So, ah, there we go. Had to happen. Oh, could you imagine if they spawn me above the hole? I have a funny feeling that, yeah, okay, yeah. I, I, I could have used that five seconds ago. There we go. Whee. Yeah, and sometimes those guys, if they're smart, well, they're, they're never smart enough. But uh, if they are smart enough, they'd grab you down by that big hole. There we go. See, he never throws the knife when I want him to throw the knife. And then when there's no one there, he throws the knife and it's gone. It's very frustrating. I love the city skyline. Very much like uh, New York probably what it's based on. I don't know, I, I don't know what the Tokyo uh, skyline is like, or at least late 80s. It's funny actually when I pl um, watched, um, when I was a teenager and I finally got watching Akira, like I just saw the, like the cityscapes and that and it was, you could just see how influential that movie was on like games like this and ah. Uh, Okay, so this baseball bat. Oh, ah! God damn it! I did. Ah, I hate weapons. <laughs> and these guys who just run around with knives are just yeah. What is bizarre about this game, and it's something that I even thought of as a kid, was like, why does nobody have any guns? <laughs> You know, nobody has any guns except for the final boss. The final boss has a machine gun and nobody else has guns. You'd imagine that a, 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 a city, a, the streets of rage as such like this would have, uh, would have guns. But no, thankfully they don't. Then again, I think this game would be a bit more like Contra if there were, if there were guns involved. I think that's why Golden Axe is a slightly more uh, appropriate setting for a game like this. These guys always remind me of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It just looks like this weird turtle suit thing. Oh, oh I hate this boss. Because sometimes, like, ah, oh, Like, he just moves so fast. Um, oh my god, these henchmen are... I hate them. Oh my god! Seriously, I didn't get letting off the police at all. Ah, oh, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Like, if I had a bit of space and I could, like, just... 
see where he's moving and what he's doing. That would be one thing. But these guys just come straight in and punch me in the face. And they get in my way. Now, yeah, that's another thing I was about to say you don't want to do. You don't want to grab him and throw him because he's too big and heavy. Oh my god. There we go. This, like, that's usually how you can get him, where you just, like, catch him in a mid about to blow fire. Oh, there we go. That was. What? Oh, how, how did that knife not hit him? Oh my god, seriously. Like, he. Like. I'm sure, I'm sure veterans of this game are sitting there watching it going, oh, you're, you're, you're fighting in the wrong way. But there's too many things happening at once. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Uh, I. You survived round four. I started this round with five lives. Okay. Round five. Excellent. The one on the boat. The graphics in this level, I I always found it amazing. As a kid, I still find it very impressive now, like, you know, looking at the graphics going on outside of the window. I used to think it looked photorealistic, like of those ships and the lighting effects and stuff. And in some ways it still kinda does. Well, I mean, maybe not photorealistic, but like, it looks really realistic. Um, anyway, knives, 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 knives. Stop talking about photorealism, John, and fight the guys with knives who are running at you. Ugh. Give me something I can use, okay. Yeah. Yeah, you see, if if you're able to maintain your first your first continue for long enough and they give you a whole pile of wee random points. Like as a kid I never got I was like, oh wow, points. Who cares about that? Um, um but uh I suppose people looking for high scores. I, I was never a person for high scores. The only game I ever looked for a high score in was... Okay, yeah, that. I always love this. <laughs> the cops are on the boat. Oh, dude, like... Like, is, is it a fair? Is it, like, what, 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 what kind of a boat is this where there's a... a, a, a not only that, but they're launching an artillery strike on the boat from the boat. <laughs> It's impressive. Ah, this one. I used to call this girl, for whatever reason, I used to call her like a, she, she, she was the five star one. Oh, there's a couple of them. Where if you hit them in a certain way, they just fall, fall to the ground and you can keep doing it. And the old, yeah, see, they just fall to their knees and they're like, oh, how dare you hit me? It's like, um, ah, there we go. That had to happen. Watch this now that, ah. Okay, continue. Three, please. Continue, yes. Um, there we go, at least I could, could kill him. So if you punch them, yeah, yeah, you have to throw them like that. Oh, of course, could have used that two minutes ago. Um, but they remind me of uh, Catwoman in Batman Forever, or Batman Returns, even. Um, particularly with the black leather, it helps. But uh, whenever... Batman hits her and she's like, how could you? I'm a woman. He's like, I'm sorry. And then she kicks the crap out of him. Like I said, I'm a woman and shouldn't be taken for granted. Or something to that effect. Ah. Like, where are these guys coming from? Oh my god. Oh. Seriously. Oh. This game is so much harder than I remember. And, but I think it's because I played it on easy mode when I was a kid. That never happened where they would just come, oh, thank God. Like, there's nothing more satisfying than, oh, is this where the wrestler shows up? Yeah. And, yeah, there we go. There's nothing more satisfying than when you have almost zero health and you get a, a full health recharge. I mean, it's the equivalent of getting a free life. Ah! Oh my 
my god, he's not dead yet. There we go. Can can you can you give me another little health, please? I'm kind of afraid to walk forward because one more slap will kill me. I used to hate these guys when I was a kid. Like like just physically they were always the mo I find them really boring. Ah, there we go. That's fun. That's fun. Uh, these guys, I never even understood these guys. So like they don't have um, anything to juggle, and yet they still they they hop about, do a weird doo -doo 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 -doo. what am I doing? And and yet they're still able to produce a, multiple axes, multiple flames to throw at you. It makes perfect sense. This game makes so much sense. I mean, I think the fact that. I, I would always love to make a live action version of this game, but like underneath all of the, you know, cl crime syndicate, there's also like a clone conspiracy <laughs> because all the bad guys are identical. <laughs> but I did always like that. Um, you know how you had reskinned re bad guys. I mean, like now, obviously, you just know it's a, it's a, ch it's a cheap way of uh, having more variety. Oh, he hit me with a baseball bat, Mom. Huh. I think that was a bit of a panic choice there. <laughs> well, I suppose I've I've got two of them. Oh yes, 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 yes. Get it up, yeah. There we go. Are we in the boss yet? I think we're nearly at the boss. There we go. Take that. I love even just the sound of the ship. It's so immersive. It's immersive gameplay. Come back here, come back here. Ow, not like that. Okay, here we go. For ages, when I was a kid, I could not get past these girls. They were way too hard. Because, well, they would do things like that. Um, but what I didn't realize was just the best way to fight them. And how one of them always does the jumpy kicks and the other one is looking to throw you and what you do is you just walky walk 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 and let them land right behind you and punch them before they go elsewhere I always I also got really frustrated because no, because I played as blaze a lot when I was a kid and I was like it's not fair how come she doesn't move as quickly as they do ow is that game over no it's not game over but still it feels like such a cheap shot, but I need it. I need the police. There we go. One left. I'm choose you how long this boss has taken. This is the first time I've gotten to this part of the music in a while. Uh, one more hit should do it. Oh, two more hits. Also, you can see how when I was a kid, the jump kick is very ineffective against these ladies as well but yeah i always always had this theory or this idea that you know blaze she had these triplet sisters ah oh, free life thank you so much merciful game gods hmm. this is nobody's favorite level uh, maybe it is. Maybe <laughs> that was a very broad statement, speaking for a lot of people. But uh, this is not my favorite level. I just find the music, you know, up until now everything's been relatively kind of fast-paced. I suppose maybe, maybe it needed that. Maybe it needed that, but still. Ow! That hurt. Ow! Oh my God! Yeah. 
It's like, I always just find it such a waste whenever I'm killed, having not used it. Look at that. Oh! Like, I could see him coming. I could see him coming a mile away. And just knowing by the speed that he's going, it's like, he's going to hit me with a cheap shot. Hit me with your cheap shot. Okay. I hate, I hate those guys. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh my god. You guys suck. Stop throwing me under the big giant top top thing. Oh my god. There we go. Oh, that was a waste. Oh yeah, I have to fight the Freddy Krueger guy again, don't I? I think we do. Yeah, just... I mean, usually when these guys throw me, I'm like, haha, joke's on you, I know how to counter that. But when they throw... Oh no, I have to fight this guy! Oh, you hateful... Yeah. Oh. oh, it's at the end of the level. You have to fight two Freddy Kruegers. That's what it is. Oh, I hate you so much right now. Well, at least it's just him. Right, so this is how you do it. There we go. When there's not some other random guy running up and punching you in the face, this is the best way to do it. There we go. There we go. See? How difficult was that? easy when there's not some other guy trying to punch you in the face amidst it all. There we go, thank you. Oh, I feel slightly vindicated of my ability to take that guy on there. Because I was just... How did that not hit you guys? Well, that sucks. Okay, I do like this bit. I always think this, this bit's a bit trippy. With two different... But what kind of a factory is this? Just random conveyor belts on the floor that are, you know, five meters long. Oh my god, seriously, weapons, go away. Ugh. And I like how the screen stops here so that you have this little set piece, this little kind of fight on that weird... Uh, conveyor belts. Haha, take that. You're like, I've got a whip, and you're like, well, surprise. These pepper bomb things always, I always find a bit weird. I suppose it did stun her. Ow. Oh, please let that be health. I hope that is health. Ow. Ugh. I do not think I am going to be able to complete this game. <laughs> Just saying that right now. Well, that was a tease. Oh, speaking of screens stopping to give a wonderful uh, set piece, here we have... And how come they don't activate it? That's so frustrating. Ah, there we go. Throw! Haha. I am... I don't know why I'm so ha ha about because I'm going to die soon. Okay, just, just some health, some health, some health. No, I don't want to pick that up and waste it. Okay, free life. Give me some health. Uh, fine. The next sign of any bad guys. Come on, give me multiple bad guys here. Just, there we go. I just don't want to use a police... Poli Seriously, police launch right in the middle of the... <laughs> right in the middle of the factory. That makes perfect sense. Yeah, what are these guys doing? Uh. Yeah. I, yeah, I don't think I'm going to survive this. I mean... If I struggled so much on some of these bosses, and then you have to fight all of the bosses again in the final level, it mightn't. Uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna happen. Just, just, just putting that out there. Just, just, I'm managing your. Okay. Oh, nice, and it just crushes 
my dead corpse while I'm at it. That's very nice. Oh, I remember this bit. When there's two little alarm things on the wall, that's when we're nearly ready for the boss. It's two Freddy Kruegers. Come on, come on. Wait, are you afraid I'm gonna punch you in the face? You feel it correctly. Oh my god, seriously, just come at me, bro! I don't want to accidentally pick up that turkey just in case I actually need it. There we go. Oh my god, seriously. Just, just, oh, lads, just let me fight the boss. Just go away. Nobody likes you. That's not a good idea. There we go. I'm, I'm being very effective in how I'm managing these guys. Ah, oh, seriously. John, stop trying to grab them. I was just trying to grab them so that I could throw one into the other. But, alas, that was not too big. Right, stay above them. Stay above them. They're only very effective if they have the high ground. It's over, Anakin! No. <laughs> it, it is, see? He gave me a game over because he had the high ground. Uh, I nearly jumped and kicked there, which would... There we go. Take that, Freddy Krueger clones. Oh, God. This game... Thing, like at least there's only eight levels to it. This is one of my favorite levels because any chance I get, I love just throwing guys off. Yes. Or or no, as it as it would happen okay I'm gonna have to use the police already in fairness I think I was concentrating way too much on trying to um, trying to grab them and not enough on trying to actually yay it's so satisfying interesting the time resets every time the elevator resets yep he just comes right out I'm gonna punch you in the face and kill you makes sense yes free life that is exactly what I need right now thank you so much Okay, you died. That's okay. Ugh. Come on. I know you're still there. Whee! Okay. I love how the background is slowly revealing throughout this. It's very cool. Take that! Oh, they have so far to fall now. <laughs> and it's funny, when I was a kid, I, I never used that throw. I always used this throw. But now, I just... It's, it's such a better throw. It's a lot quicker to do. I suppose it's slightly more complicated to do. And I didn't quite get a lot of the complex. The vast complex. Can you jump up here? Big memory. Oh, maybe it's because he doesn't jump as high. Yeah, they're gonna kill me. 
They're gonna take two kicks right to my face and kill me. So, I'm calling the cops. And you can, you guys. There you go. There's always one who just gets that punch in. They're like, haha. Like, where's this guy coming from? Oh, I always find that weird when they, when they, they, uh, somehow squeeze through the barrier. <laughs> Some weird, like, kind of mild glitch. I'm not complaining, as long as it kills them. And here we have the wonderful skyline. So you know you're on the last stage. Okay, okay, the, the, the baseball bat has its... Oh my god, if I can survive to the end of this level, I'm gonna be so pleased. No, these guys are gonna... Someone's gonna get a cheap shot. Someone's gonna get... No, no cheap shots, no cheap shots. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come Die, 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 the lot of us. Oh, 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 come on. Please let that be it. Is this it? Is this it? Yes! Yes! Take that level! You did not kill me. Or did you? Oh yeah, you gave me a free life right at the start. But still. But still. I got through with minimal <laughs> uh, health. Okay. Is this my last continue? Doesn't matter. I'm going to go through them. Yeah, I take that. I always imagine there's just some random evil butler off screen. <laughs> so shall I throw another tray at him? Yes. <laughs> so he punched it out of the way. Shall I throw another, sir? Yes. <sighs> I also love the visual storytelling in this level where you essentially fight through the night, which is kind of cool. Like you can see the um, the the daylight changing. You can see the sunrise approaching uh, as you go through the level, which is pretty cool. It's a nice touch. And here we have boss number one again. Oh no! Not yet. Yes! Yes! I love it. Um, oh yeah, and of course there's no no police in here. Like, not only do you have to fight every single boss from the rest of the game, you also don't have any backup, which is wonderful. I played this game so much with my friends, with my cousins, with so many people. This is a great two-player game. Unless, you know, you start punching each other by accident. Is he still punching me? Or when someone would, it would be like their first time playing this game and they would just go straight in and press A and call the cops. And it's like, why are you wasting it? Don't waste it. You have to save it for the boss. Because, you know, I knew so much better. I love the music of this level. It's very cool. Captures the ambience very well. Oh, why are you giving me that? I don't need that. Give it to me when I need it. Like, it's pretty, you can't, like, just, you can stash these things like you could in. Was it Super Mario 3? Was, was the first one? You could do that. Where you. You had a mushroom and you could save it for later. Oh, Fine. I hate to see it go to waste. So I will have that tiny little piece of energy. Ah. I didn't punch him because I thought he might get hit by the tray. By the evil butler. Sir, he's still coming forth. Or not, you know what? It could be the actual boss of the level itself. Who's always just off screen? Okay, here we go. Ooh. This 
Shinsuke is literally reskinned. He's now black. Which is interesting. It's a really cool color combination, actually. Why you do this? There we go. Yes, as long as you have the high ground, that boss is not the worst. Tell that to my seven-year-old self. As you can see, this is my favorite way of dealing with enemies. Oh no! I have to fight the big uh, fi fire guy again. Oh. He is my least favorite. It used to be the twins, but it is he is absolute because he gets so many cheap shots at you. Oh no! Wait, no, I have to fight the wrestler first. Oh, good thing I remembered. <laughs> right, which direction is he going? Oh, he's coming from that way. Okay, okay. If I was standing there waiting, oh, because if I was standing there waiting for uh, the fire guy, and then that guy just goes, oh, okay, stop talking, John, stop, just concentrate, punch, 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 punch. Oh, oh okay, yeah, I, I, I could just have a force field of punches. That works too, I suppose. Yes. Thank you. I need that. Yeah, see how it's getting lighter outside? It's always getting cool. Oh, I wonder if I should go back and play Predator 2. That was a game I played. I'm just getting flashbacks because it actually just this... Kind of... It looks more like an LA skyline. Um... And it actually really reminds me of, of Predator 2. That was a movie I watched when I was way too young. <gasps> Three kicks to the face, man. What's up with that? What, are you trying to kill me or something? Okay. Die! Taste my knee! Pathetic. Here, have my knife. Oh wait. Knives don't block fire. <laughs> right. Oh, it's just so awkward. Yeah, like, there we go. Yeah. If you can just get him behind him, he's fine. Before he starts blowing the fire and just beat the living crab out of him, he's fine. There we go. Oh. And I always thought these girls were very special. Oh no! Oh, good. Oh, thankfully I was. Oh, I was not invulnerable during that one. Of course not. <laughs> yeah, these girls with their special silver bodysuits. Right, I'm gonna have to take that because we're moving on here. Ah, oh, typical. Right, we can do this, we can do this. Ow. Is this... How, do I have another continue? I don't know. <laughs> I guess we'll find out soon enough. Oh my god, right. Wonderful. Free, free, free punch to the face. <sighs> okay, we can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Take that. Oh yeah, I still have to fight the twins. This was a real insult to injury whenever I first got this far in the game because 
these girls I found so difficult and where it took me ages to fight them on the first time I then had to get through them again just before the final boss and there were still many a time where I couldn't get past them here because I didn't realize how to kill them or how to kill them consistently you know and how to use their patterns I still don't feel like I'm going to be able to finish this game. I, 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 I'll, I'll get to the final boss, but I'm not... I, I just... I don't know. Maybe that's a defeatist attitude. I just don't think I have enough health and or lives to do this. Okay, John, just get kicked in the face. That's effective. And then, of course, whenever there's only one left, she kind of becomes a combination of the two. Ha ha. There we go. Oh. Every time this happened, it was like, oh, we're in the last place. Well, you found your way here. Would you consider becoming my right-hand man? I didn't know what a right-hand man was when I was a kid. No. You really want to die, don't you? I'll be happy to oblige. Again, I didn't know what oblige was when I was a kid. But yeah, I'm pretty sure whenever you... If you say, yes, I want to be a right-hand man, he throws you back to level six. Or if it's a two-player game, and one person... Oh, okay. Stop talking, John. There we go. Okay, is he about to stand up? Yes, here we go. Okay, come on. There we go. There we go. Oh, that takes a lot of help. But yeah, if one person chooses yes and one person chooses no, then... Oh, is that game over? Oh, oh, I have another continue. No, not new game, John. There we go. Um, okay. See, I've never gotten far enough with this guy to actually know the best strategy to fight, and that's my problem with this guy. But yeah, if one person picks yes and one person picks no uh, to being his right hand man, then you have to fight to the death. And it's like Street Fighter. I'm, I'm, I'm not. This, folks, just giving you a heads up now. This is not going to happen because, like, his health isn't even. It's only just turned bright orange. Yeah. Sorry, folks. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was to be expected. Oh, well. <laughs> At least I got to the last pause. Oh, dear. Ah, fun times. Fun times. <sighs> so that was Streets of Rage, folks. <laughs> It is a sad time on the streets of rage. Our heroes have died. Um, oh dear. Well, in all seriousness, I hope you, I hope you really enjoyed that. It was a lot of fun. I want to play more of these. If you wish to see more, you can support me on Patreon at John D. Ruddy, and don't forget to go follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. John D. Ruddy does stuff. And uh, I'll chat to you guys soon. Ciao.